Trains are some of the most efficient and economical ways of getting around in Italy. Whether you're planning to go from city to city or just want to get to the museum on the other side of town, heading to the train station is always a good bet. It could get a bit confusing though, especially for those who are trying out the Italian metro for the first time. So here are some of the basic things you need to know when choosing to travel by train in Italy. First, we'll talk about buying a metro ticket. Metro tickets in Italy are generally pretty cheap at only a few euros a ride. For a few more euros, you can even purchase a metro pass that allows you to ride the train as many times as you need within a day or a week or sometimes even longer. Getting these passes is a very practical way to save money on fare, especially if you'll be staying in the city for more than a day or two. Some city train passes can even be used for buses and trams. These tickets can be purchased in a variety of ways. If you like having your tickets in advance, you can buy tickets online via the train operator's website, or it can be purchased by you or your travel agent or tour operator. All you would have to do is print out your ticket confirmation and you're good to go. Having your tickets in advance is highly recommended, especially during the summer months or if you're planning on going cross country by train because it allows you to reserve seats, something that may be difficult when everyone else is also rushing to get the same train. If you're just stepping out for a quick visit though or simply feeling spontaneous, tickets can be bought directly at the ticketing window at the train station at the tobacco shop, also known as the tabakai, or at a self-service ticket machine in and around the station. Note that most self-serve machines have instructions in English as well as a variety of other languages. Next, let's talk about which trains you can buy tickets for. There are several types of trains in operation in Italy. There's the Frecce and Eurostar Italia, which is an express premier train service that directly connects most major cities. It's comparable to Japan's bullet trains and is super fast and super comfortable, featuring only first class coaches. This line requires reservations and hence has coach and seat assignments. Next, there are the inner city trains. While it will still get you from one city to the next, Expect it to take a while longer because unlike the Frecce, it will be making stops along the way. This type of train offers first class and second class coaches. A ticket in first class will get you a guaranteed seat, but when traveling second class on a very, very busy day, be aware that you may end up standing in the train unless the seats are free. Last but not least, there's the regional trains that most locals use to get to work and school. These trains usually only offer second class coaches, so if you want to be sure that you'll get a seat, try to avoid rush hour. Now that you have your train tickets and maybe a seat assignment, the next step is very important. Make sure you validate your ticket before boarding. If your ticket doesn't have a specific train number, date, and time printed on it, you'll have to look for a little green, white, or yellow electronic box just before getting on the train. Insert your ticket into it and let it print a timestamp on your ticket to show that your ticket is valid for that ride. This is crucial because once the conductor comes along to inspect your ticket and it isn't valid, you'll be fined on the spot, usually for an amount of 50 euros or more. Ouch. Once you've got your validated ticket and seat, just sit back and enjoy the ride as you watch Italy's beautiful scenery roll by. <laughs>